Alright, so here we are um, back in our ugly looking map, and I'm going to just get out of this map first of all before we move on to doing some better styling, and we're going to make a new style that doesn't look like garbage. How about that? Um, and we're just going to mess around with some data that, uh, you know, this is pretty doable. We have some data already in here. Anyway, we're just going to keep this as our style. We're going to call this new course style. Okay. Um, work of course there we go okay we're gonna publish it real quick all right and then we'll add it as our new style in here so we copy the style URL head back up to mapbox initialization paste it in there and off we go okay where are we you load it in at all there we are loaded in all nice Let's see if we it's a little slow. There we go. Seems to want to zoom out all the way like that. All right, so let's uh, let's go first with one of the more complicated ones because it's uh, might as well start difficult. And let's go into uh, doing points since that's what a lot of people are interested in. So these labels are actually points, and they could be marker information or they could be just the labels as you see them here. So first of all, let's try to just make these disappear from the front end. We know how to do that in the back end, you know, we, we went into the style and we went down to, let's say, uh, over here, down to the Paris level, and we go down, da da da, and if we wanted to make all the, like, areas up here, we could just go, like, probably, boom, like that, there they go. But what if we wanted to do it on the front end, you know, just for the sake of understanding how we would do that? So we're not going to be adding a layer or adding a source, right? We're going to be modifying a current one. So how do we do that? Let's see. Here it is, just adjust a layer's opacity. So this is them uh, modifying, in this case, a raster layer, this picture on top of the map. So we're not doing that at all, but we're going to end up doing something similar. So you can see here, we get this set property. So in this case, it's set paint property then it's referring back to the layer ID and it's giving it a particular um, property that it wants to style in the paint and then it's giving it a value so the opacity of course has a value of 0 0.01 something up to 1 uh, you know, representing 0 to 100 percent and so we're just setting the same thing so okay we have the set paint property maybe if we can refer to the right um, layer ID, then we could theoretically set its opacity. Okay, so let's go into our style now. Okay, we kind of got to figure out, okay, it's the place label city. I'm going to go with that as the ID. So we're going to place label city. Now, how do we change opacity here? So in this case, it's opacity, it says. There's icons, there's text. I think we might be able to say text opacity. And then we're going to just make it zero and see if they're hidden. And it looks like they might actually be. So let's go in and maybe these aren't actually the neighborhoods that, or the cities that we're looking at. So let's zoom in and see Paris, da da da. Okay, when we zoom in now, we're getting the same results. And when we hit layers of the city, it doesn't actually hide that. Interesting. So maybe it's other. Let's see. Other. So we'll change place label other instead and change that opacity to zero and we'll see if we get some modifications oh look at that they all kind of faded away now you can see the city ones are back but now they're gone so completely disappeared now this was a very easy thing to do but you really needed to understand not only to refer to the correct id but also to use the correct um, style property because it was not that easy to just guess at it you know i did guess text opacity i honestly guessed it but you can see you can, there's patterns but a lot of these you know icon translate anchor and and icon halo width so these should look a little familiar um just because we use them throughout here here's the halo color the halo width halo blur you're going to be able to affect all of those using this kind of set paint property now you'd also be able to set that same thing if when we were adding a layer, you just put it in here. So if we were adding a layer that was all text, we'd add it here, we'd give it a symbol type, and then we'd have in here text color and text opacity. 
or it might may be icon color and icon opacity if what you're doing instead of text is having a small icon but the same rule applies so that's kind of cool that means we can do something dynamic so why don't we make it uh, dynamic as well and we'll say let's see map dot on zoom end and then we'll have a function here and we'll say that if it's a certain zoom level we'll make it appear and if it's not then it will disappear so if map dot get zoom equals uh, about 10 then we'll set the opacity to 1 otherwise we'll set the opacity to 0 if zoom level is less than 10 okay great and if zoom level is um, sorry less than 11 and greater than 10 okay so now maybe it will appear in a certain area so what kind of zoom do we have 11 so it's too high so there we go oh look they appeared great and now they'll get hidden again okay so we can make we can modify stuff on the map depending on zoom level and this is the same kind of thing that we had set up uh, previously inside Mapbox Studio, but through this kind of zooming functionality. Now, luckily, we don't actually have to do this all the time, like set up these kind of breakpoints, because there are elements built up in the add layer that allow us to create that kind of thing. Now, when it comes to setting one that's already on the map, uh, for instance, the set paint property, there's no real reason to have to go through and do the complexity yourself. You know, just do it on here through their interface. You know, make the zoom levels disappear and appear on this side. But if you need to do it within um, Mapbox GLJS, for instance, you're, you added too many layers here. For instance, there's 15 maximum and you're overdoing it, but you need to show more layers on the front end map. Then you can set, um, you know, with our add layer, we're going to get to set paint properties um, by zoom level and all that kind of thing. So what else about text field? Well, we've gone over all the styling already, so you don't really need to go over it. You can find any of that in the style documentation. Again, here's the URL if you need to. Just go to the right layers. In this case, it's a symbol layer, and you're going to find just all different kinds of properties. You may even be surprised to find a couple more than you might have thought were in these, um, especially with symbols because there's so many of these uh, different ways to place them and add different things. Mm -hmm.